this shit is tough. Holy grip seems like a guitar. Had to kill my distance, you ain't getting far. Nigga wants to smoke, let's go to war. Clean you up, I do the chores. Too much drip, someone gotta clean the floor. Still in the streets, fuck the law. Fuck the trunk, rather keep it in the car. Hit my dog, cross me, we cutting off his paw. Too much drip in the place, so we gotta clean the Hey everybody, welcome back to the Georgia Tech Dynasty. John Eads with you here. Be sure to like and subscribe as we get things going. We got a recruiting episode for you today coming off a nice win over Arkansas. Competitive first half, pulled away in the second half, and uh, we're up to 5-0, and number two in the country. Just keeping on stacking those wins. I'll tag the game right here if you didn't get to catch it. I encourage you to go watch it. We've got more great games coming up. So today, we're going to advance the week. I think I've pretty much already put all the points on people up take you guys through it one more time there just to you know make sure and, and reset things and stuff like that i'm expecting maybe a couple more commitments today as we continue to try to fill out our class so we'll see what happens we'll do drip of the day of course as well which is like our player of the week if you have a suggestion for player of the week that you've seen that i haven't done please let me know i'm accepting all submissions and i will certainly use them let's do it so here's how we're looking we got a couple commitments last week check out that episode if you did not watch it we started to kind of build the foundation for our class John Ferguson here, we started re-recruiting him a few weeks ago because of some issues at the beginning, play style, whatever, he had a deal breaker. But we're leading on him. Uh, McMillan visited and we're leading second for Williams. So a lot of these guys were either, you know, leading in the case of Nugent or we're kind of in a battle, like, you know, guys like George Cook here and uh, Corey Brackett a little bit. So all the points are doled out. We're kind of just, you know, trying to gather that second wave of commitments now. We've already kind of gathered um, a decent amount of talent to this point. Here's who the commitments are if you have missed any. We got Jeremy Henry, a four-star gem prospect, a really good receiver here in Landon Smith. He's a burner. John Gray, a super solid, strong safety from New Jersey. A big D-tackle, David Alexander, who was our top prospect at D-tackle. And then two other guys, Michael Hughes, a very solid offensive lineman. And John Williams, a, an athlete who could play running back, corner, receiver, could do a lot of different things for us. So, you know, we're kind of still at the phase where we're like going after all positions and just trying to add talent. So we're not really honing in on anybody specific, but... Uh, there are, of course, positions that we do need. Still trying to grab maybe another offensive lineman. And uh, got to get our quarterback still for this class. I get one every cycle. Then defense, we need some good D linemen and maybe some help in the secondary. So that's kind of what we're dealing with. All right, we have a lot of visits scheduled. There's 10 of them, and they should be coming in for our next home game here, all these guys, which would kind of explain why we're in battles for all of them. So, yep, week seven, that should be next week. Um... This includes people that have actually already visited, too. So Williams is coming in. Ferguson's coming in. Let's see. Uh, we got a Week 10 visit on the horizon for Cook there. And uh, Week 7, Damon Bonner's popping in, our second kind of option there at D-Tackle. And we schedule these guys, too, Bradley and Jenkins, although I'm not recruiting them very hard at this point, but uh, they're set to come in on visits soon as well. So we'll see what happens this week. Maybe we get one or two commits. Really what will turn the needle is uh, our next home game and the episode after that one. So if nothing happens today, check back for the next one for sure. But watch to the end, of course. All right, exciting news. You see it on your screen right there. James Nugent, the high four-star quarterback. I think he's the uh, number two dual threat quarterback in the class. Commits to our team. So that's our quarterback of the class and the future, really. This guy is super good. Let's go take a look at his skills. Well, I'll be darned. I was wrong. Dude is five stars. Number two quarterback. I had that part right. 6'1", 210, from Georgia, in-state guy. Likes the fact that we're a championship contender. Gets to stay home and play around home. He's really good. Good speed, good excel. Good throw power and accuracy. And he can carry the ball well. So, yeah, I mean, he's a great athlete. He's a great quarterback. So, dual threat. Yeah, he's going to be a problem. Um... Fits our system exactly how we want him to fit between running the ball as a quarterback, being a threat with his legs, but also having the ability to pass. I could see him playing pretty early. We brought in some decent quarterbacks the past two cycles. We have one set for next year, but after that, he could be the face of the program. And at that point, he would have a year under his belt to redshirt. And then that second year, he'd be ready to go. So James Nugent, the future of the program at Georgia Tech. All right, a lot of guys are ready to visit. We need to be selective with who we bring in. I'm going to go ahead and schedule these because we have the home game against Bama 
this week. Uh, we will bring in this fullback because we do need a fullback. Let's see. We do need a tight end still, so we'll bring this tight end in. Chris Franklin there. Brigham Edmonds still recruiting D-tackles, so we'll bring him in as well. We got two D-tackles coming in this week then. Uh, we'll, we'll bring Wilcox in. We still need a tight end, as I mentioned, so we'll have two guys visit. Everybody else, I think, is just going to have to hang out for a few minutes uh, before we schedule any visits because I don't want any guys committing before you know some of our top choice prospects do commit. So I'm not even recruiting those guys, as you can see. So um, I'm not going to give you a look at what the numbers are. We'll take a look at that next recruiting episode. But what I will show you are James Nugent's uh, 40 time and all that kind of stuff. So let's see if we can find him here in the uh, top 100. Here he is. So, uh, number 22 player in the country, runs a 4640, and uh, he's pretty darn strong too. So, yeah, that's a heck of a guy to have at quarterback. Top 25 recruit, lightning fast, got a good arm, uh, huge pickup for us. I'm excited to use this player. Quick update on the Heisman. So, Tucker's still in the running. He's in third now. He moves up two spots, and he's just putting up decent numbers. I mean, not crazy uh, stats 16 for 82 touchdowns. It's kind of slowed down the past few games, not putting up triple digits, but teams have really started to kind of hone in on our run game and force us to pass the ball, and it's been a really slow start offensively, but that's kind of the way we've been playing this year is slower, more methodical, trying not to turn the ball over as much, but he's benefited because he's gotten a lot of touches, and I got to give him credit. He's played pretty darn well. All right, drip of the day for this week is going to go to Matt Pope here. He had an interception in our last game against Arkansas Blanket Coverage, playing a little bit of nickel. He's our fourth corner, but that was a heck of a play. You wouldn't think that a fourth corner would make a play like that. So uh, he's going to get it for this week. If you've got suggestions for someone else that you noticed in the field made a play or is someone that you think is really good that I'm kind of sleeping on or just kind of looks like they're lacking a little bit with this kind of a helmet, uh, you let me know, and I will check the comment section. Again, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Appreciate you. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. It's Bama Week, so that's our next game. Had a banger with them last year. Came down to the final play. Um, looks like they're struggling so far, two and four. We don't care. We just want wins. So we got them at home this year. Haven't had many home games so far this season. It's been a very tough schedule, but a lot of recruits coming in on visits. We're starting to pick up momentum on the trail, as you guys kind of saw today in the last episode. Be sure to check out all the games we played this year. All of them are on the playlist. If you missed any videos, they're all there. You can find them, watch them at your convenience. And we'll catch you all in the next one with this game against Bama. Go Jackets. Appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe on your way out. Peace.